throw. Actually, we saw Rhyme, I'm sorry, throwing out a smoke towards B main. Zero point came out. Now the push comes through. Oh, good headshot from Fatinio to start the round. Off spray through the smoke and gets a second onto the enemy jet as well. And the rest of the team looking to follow up. Parla, though, getting in onto the site here, trying to remove the door ASAP. As in comes Nuki from the sky. And it's Hoodie to finish the round. Really confident start from Giants. Towards mid. And we saw Rhyme was ready and waiting. Tinio going to be holding this angle. A lot of shots going on through. Not many of them hitting. JJ, the only one to be tagged. Actually, no, Loris took eight HP damage as well. Parma, still unsure where they want to go. Hovering towards B for the time being, but whether or not they commit to that. Rhyme, the sole sentinel on the site here. Using that omen to try and stall out, but the rest of the team over on A. Yeah, and for Rhyme, he already did use that paranoia towards mid when he was holding, but still, I mean, we're going to see if Parla want to look to push through the smoke. They do have some flash drives online for Ruxic. Looks like he just threw one out. Shadows traveling. It's going to be another dark cover, but answered by a dark cover of their own. Spraying through the smoke, but Rhyme knows he can't retake this one by himself. Needs to wait for the rest of the team. 5v5, and it's going to be all about the retake here from Giants. You can see everyone barreling up from Defender spawn. Yeah, and for Giants, I mean, still having the Seas online, if they can try and catch any members out, set up four picks to come across. But, I mean, Parla have the angles on board. We'll see. Cloud's going to go for the aggressive peak. This has been one of the areas where Giants have done yep. well, is playing as a unit. But, I mean, when you're up against four Vandals and a Phantom. Hoodie nearly gets his head taken off there with the shoulder peak, but Ruxic finds Cloud. Hoodie the next one to peak. So many bullets just layered towards him. Ryan getting one, answered by JJ. Jay Lurst as well. Laura steps up and Nookie gets him. Nookie gets two, but won't be able to get the round here. Just looking for exits. It's not going to happen. No, so Parla finally able to get one on the board. And again, playing slow for information, but 30 seconds on the clock. They've got to make a move. Giants don't even have any information as two members were on A and just started rotating their way over towards mid and B. And now they're going for the site hit. Yeah, they have information now that it's happening. Hoodie on point here behind Jenny. Needs to make something happen, but taken out from the side. Cloud with two, though. Brooksick takes him out in a 3v3 now as the players charge in towards heaven. They need to play it. Spike isn't down just yet. Yeah, you're Ten absolutely right. 10 left. seconds on the clock. They've got to make this happen now or never. Blade Song going to be used here. Ruxik takes a headshot and takes another. Ruxik, can he plant it in time? Half a second left. No. <laughs> Five, he cancelled. Finds the kills, but it wouldn't go down in time, right? And, uh, four seconds to get that spike Faster. down. They play super slow in that round. They play default forever, trying to get information and then Oh, hang on, Nuki. Perfect spot, but gets taken out anyway. Rhyme at least gets one answer, but suddenly alone on the site. j here, yeah, but taken out by Rhyme in the end. Now 3v3. The rest of the team needs to get over the map, though. Rhyme alone, 1v3. Has to find a headshot, gets one. And will be traded out. But three kills, I mean, you can't ask any more from the player. 2v2 now. A lockdown coming out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, how are you getting out of this one, Paul? Oh. No! Oh, he's taken out. Ruxik finds that one, aggressively pushing here in behind Lodz. And Mason gets Cloud down. It was so close, but... The door is coming out. And now once again, going to try and walk into B main. Looks like Nightfall going to come out. Yeah, there it is. Grime has to back away. Prowler going to be denied. Just going to try and spray through the smoke. See if he can get it. Hey, but Fatinio, perfect spot behind Lodz there. And Nookie gets one as well. Morris puts Nookie into that null command passive but a teammate might be able to pick him up it's not over just yet Masic on a flank though yeah. cloud actually looking the wrong direction Masic might be able to get a second cloud comes in loris as well onto nuki rhyme 1v1 with Masic. here we go omen versus chamber a single headshot will win the round in either direction 30 seconds the phantoms left. will do it rhyme hiding inside the smoke Who's going to be the one to flick it? It's Rhyme. And Giants get themselves back into this one. Stepping up, but fast hit coming out from Parla. Going to be uh, slowed Loris. down by Fragment. Morris has the Blade Storm. Tour Force available, but Mason obviously with a gun. Probably not going to use it. And here we go. Charging on in. Jayla's Jay first to get a kill here. The spray through the smoke, though. Rhyme finds a second one for his team. And Giants hold fast here. It was a big old stack towards A. Fragment, the C's coming out. Dark cover as well, not allowing for this push to go through. Setting up for Rhyme to find more kills. And heck, I mean, 
you know, we're just hitting on Rhyme being at the top of the scoreboard for the side of, of Giants. And I, I guess when Parla just keep running to the side that he's at, setting him up to be able to get these down. And the dark cover just permanent at this point from Rhyme, holding the players from Parla at bay. We'll need some reinforcements, though. Let's like see the Killjoy utility not going to be available. Nucky not wanting to overcommit, trying to be that anchor towards B oh, site. spotted him. Popped up there for a second. Nucky finally moving over as well. Oh, misses the shot there. The dark cover once again. They just can't get through it. Silence. But they're pushed away again. It's only 25 seconds on the clock. They've got to make something happen. And right, if they wanted to make an aggressive push, having that flash drive available would be useful. But Ruxic not having that one online. They're going to try and create some aggression, it looks like, through Cat to open up for Ruxic to get onto site. But Rhyme's moved. He read it, and he gets Masic here. And now Nightfall comes out as Rhyme finds himself a third beautiful round from him. Four seconds. Tries to get the plan, but Nuki finishes the job. Maybe going to try and make an aggressive play towards mid once again. We do have dark cover coming out to try and prevent this. Earlier on, they did just... Kill the alarm bot and wait it out, but they might get sprayed down by Hoodie here. Playing incredibly passive. Gonna wait for the full commit. Final round of the half. They've got to make something happen here. Hoodie with one. On to JJ. Ruxik gets Nucky though. Hoodie, he's been seen. And Ruxik finds a second, but Ryan. On to Jaylist. Evens the numbers once more. Fatinio with a blade storm with two kills. Wants to finish the half in style, but it's Ryan to take the kill as Giants get their seven. Great reaction from Fatinio. Team for four. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. Rhyme on the uh, bind as well, having a couple of incredible moments on the Astra. Really having a great day. And considering, you know, it's getting late. They've been playing a long time at this point. This is their second series of the day. Really impressive stuff to see that longevity. But straight off the bat, Giants managing to get that spike down. No kills on either side just yet. No, and now we're going to see. If Parla can find the retake, trying to force their way in through tree. But Giants are contesting. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Nookie looking for it, but Hoodie's the one to get it with Jailus and Rhyme. It's the Omen show here. Now Basic and Rooksick, 2v1 on defense. Trying to defuse the peak on out. Here we go. Looking for headshots. Finds it. Denies the defuse, but I don't think it's in time here. Rooksick will get it. Three round counts at this point. And now they're going to look for such a fast exec onto A. Oh, Macy at the top, and he's like, okay, I'm out of here. These people have guns. Those aren't the pistols I bargained for. Spike will go down. Still, though, the members of uh, Parla are going to be playing together. We have Paranoia coming out from Jailers. 5v5. Tinio underneath the play here. The Molly times out, and he's going to be able to get under into hell. Cloud with one. JJ trades it. And now the rest of the team explode onto the side of the spot. The Stingers start to come on in. It's a good little spray down from Asic. 2v2 now. The Stingers can be so crucial, and they will be. Nookie with a 3k, taken two with one spray. Coming back. It's Parla. just going to be the single fade here. JJ trying to hold it. Yeah, Parla not reading it on other sides of the map. Paranoia comes out. They're going to look for the exec. JJ taken out. The door comes on down. Lores does find the headshots. Patinio just in that tiny little gap. And May 6 here to make it happen. Rhyme trades it. 3v2. Hoodie and Rhyme and Cloud remaining for the side of Giants. Taylor's and Ruxik. A lot to work for here. Having to use a shrouded step to get out from that Nano Swarm and even able to find Hoodie. So 2v2 coming on through. It's a tough one, though. Lower health bars. You would say the advantage goes the way of Giants, but the Flash not quite going to connect. On to Rhyme. He's holding the angle. Finds the headshot. 1v1 here. Taylor's trying to take it, but Rhyme with another 4K. Uh, Rhyme is just... I don't know what he has eaten today. I don't know what he's done to warm up. Slow and not wanting to be caught off guard. Spike now picked up. 30 seconds on the clock. They've got to go to B. Haunt is online as well, left. so Cloud gonna throw that one out and try and get some info. Nice from Macy. Here we go. Oh. JJ finds one, Lores finds two, but Nuki does take him down. 1v3. Needs to at least get that spike down. Knows one's in Boathouse now, thanks to that knife. Taylor's behind the wall. Ten seconds left. Nuki needs to make it happen, and he needs to do it quickly, but he's taken down. Couldn't get that spike down. I remember this is a big uh, big tournament for the side of Giants. This is an important one. 
showing that, you know, this new roster is going to work for them in the upcoming year. They need to oh. make it happen. Oh, look at this flank. Look at this from Masik. He finds the pick to set Parler up here in the semi-finals up against a partner team. They're the heavy underdogs, and yet they keep on making these rounds happen. And you saw what Giants want to do there. They want to go for the fast hit onto A, but the zero point spotted out two members. I believe it was uh, Jay Lurston Ruxik actually just playing right behind that wall. And Masik taking advantage, gets the flank off to set them up with a 5v4. And we slow right down again. Still 55 seconds, plenty of time to work with. Will be Hoodie spotted out by the knife. But just the one player, I believe. And it's tense, Lurk. It's so tense because Parler know that with this round, they could really get themselves back into this game. But the lockdown coming out to try and secure this A side. Keep your eyes on Loris right at the back corner. Is out of range. Jailer trading. Has the dark cover out. So it's incredibly hard for Giants to push aside, but they're going to look for it now. They don't have much time. In the spray through the smoke and Parla make it look easy. A that side and then the control over the extremities on A. Send so much. So going to pivot towards B. Yeah. Try and get something in main. And I love that JJ's just going, screw it, I'm getting an Odin. He's not been fragging out this game, so just accepts that and starts spraying through walls instead. But Loris finding that first kill, finding a second kill as well. It's beautiful stuff. A cloud burst to slow down that attack. Still got a rifle or two on the side of Giants, but I don't think it's going to be enough, to be honest, Lyric. I think we're going to 11 points here for Parler. And another impressive scoreline, another impressive game, another impressive series for Parler, and once again, the underdogs. Looking like they might just reign supreme. The Giants not out of the match just yet. Fatinio wants to prove that fact, JJ. Does tag him out. 49 HP to work with 3v4. We're going to see if these two members of Giants are able to make anything happen, though. I mean, <laughs> doesn't look like this Nookie. Going to be the last one left. And, I mean, Loris, absolutely explosive round. Notice on because taking down Giants so far. Two rounds away from doing it, but it ain't over just yet. Masik wants it, though. Finds himself a pick there. Fatinho pushing forwards aggressively. Knows that he has to be the one to make these plays and buy space for his team. Masik. A back little cubby here. Will be spotted out by the knife. Everyone knows where he is. Can he find a kill before he goes down? Shorty in hand. Cloud looking for the headshot. Just going to hold him in place there. Oh. But Loris in the meantime gets one. Hoodie with two. Stepping up in the moment that matters. Masik and Loris. Two versus three. Desperate to get onto match point. Might just do it. Loris with another headshot. But Cloud trades it onto Masik. And will find another 3k for Cloud. 11 11. Oh, it would be heartbreak if Giants took it now. It would. And look at Masik. Oh. Oh, amazing. Just about getting away with that one. Couldn't have been closer. Not run. great timing either. He had the angle, was turning the check, was at top mid, and it gets sprayed down. Lockdown comes out, so Giant's going to try and find their way onto A. Here we go. Three people detected. Rooks against one, but answered. And Jailers chimes in with one of his own. Two, in fact, but Rhyme shuts him down. 2v3. Rhyme and Cloud. Both have been big across the course of today. Both have had their moments. Well, this is the most important moment of them all. In comes Loris, taken down for traded. Rhyme versus the world has to make it happen. Guess what? Oh! Guess two as well! You couldn't ask for more from this player. That's 30. So much utility was shown on both sides. Yeah. Both knew, you know, numerous members stacked over for that push. And now going to try and cut noise, cut utility, and, and, and anything coming out to try to Loris. make Parla question once again. Dark cover will end shortly. Loris waiting for that moment. And he finds it. No! Oh! oh, he doesn't connect. Nookie survives. Oh, it's so huge. And the flash forces him away. Late on from Fatinio. Might just jump up with the cloud burst. I think he'll stop that. Oh, and it's so tense. It's so tense. 12 to 11. Late on Fatinio as he charges on in. The door blocking his way, though. Just going to blast through that. Oh, Loris able to find two in oh, mid. Three. Gets another one. Hoodie answers it. 2v4 now. I the blade storm has to be massive. Fatinio needs to step up. <laughs> it's been Ryan carrying this team, kicking They're and surrounded. screaming through this. But Rooks like that. Fatinio with a headshot. Looks for more. Taken down by JJ. We're going overtime. For them when they're on attack. Yep. Aggressively pushing through mid. Fatinio playing glass cannon operator here. 
needs to find those shots, needs to be crisp with it. Goes wide on the first one, trying to get into Boathouse here to keep himself safe. Looking for Masik, and that's a beautiful little flick. 3v3 now, as they push in towards the site. Trying to find this jet player, but Nuki, the reinforcements are here. JJ and Jailers, it's JJ to get one here. The wall bank's coming on through, but it won't find any targets. Cloud and Nuki, Nuki 4 HP. It's dangerous. Cloud is seized as well, so you assume maybe throw that back into Boathouse and see if you can find anything, but I mean, with that low HP, I'm not gonna have a lot of confidence to look for the push, so hoping you can spray them down. It's tough, but they're running out of time. Look at them playing the different Cloud angles. He spots them, but they just hold together. That just one. playing as a duo. And surely Nuki can't do this one. Surely not. And JJ finishes it off. JJ has had a rough game. But not the... allowing the peak from Cat from Loris. No. Oh, and basic rhyme trading already. Loris gets involved, so does Nuki. Macy going for a trade, but can't quite find it. And suddenly it's Parler with the advantage. They're two players away from the finals here. And it's such a weird position, right? You look at where Vicino is, completely surrounded by the members of Parla. He needs to go Super Player Saiyan, standing. but Jalos finds him. And Rhyme, the sole player for Giants, has the spike and has a, a whole lot of pressure on his shoulders, the dark cover, to move his way through mid. Jalos trying to find him. Shrouded step on up, gets an off angle, trying to find a player out of position. But it's a tough one sneaking along the wall here. But look at this parlor just playing as a unit, as they should. They surely heard that as he landed on the floor. Pushing on up, looks for the 1v1. 25 HP, oh. and he's taken down. J 